Hi everyone, I'm Mindy Egan and welcome back to another floss tube video. I know it has been quite a while since I've been on here with floss tube to share anything with you, but lots been going on behind the scenes for me. I think I'm finally settling in. So I've had a few people reach out and message me about when I'm going to come out with my next floss tube video. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I um, I've kind of been debating how I'm going to handle my floss tube. I wanted to do some instructional videos and things like that, just like I do on my card making channel. But really, I have decided at this point that I'm not quite experienced enough to be teaching you anything. I am again going to refer you over to the Fat Quarter Shop there. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but their university section that gives you so many great basics to start with. For right now, I think I'm just going to be continuing any floss tube videos by sharing with you what I'm working on, maybe what I have finished. I think I'm also going to limit it to about once a month. I think that's going to give me enough uh, time really to work on things because my time is pretty sporadic when I have moments to cross stitch. I try to do it at night when I'm getting ready for bed just to kind of relax from the day or for, from the weekend. Um, but that's not always the case. Sometimes I just really want to go to bed. So I think if I just kind of plan these to do about once a month, share with you what I'm working on, uh, maybe what I finished, things like that, I think once a month is going to be a good time frame for me to have something to show you. So with that, I'm going to take you down to my tabletop and I'll show you what I have, what's been going on, all the stuff that's piling up that I haven't been able to use just yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so first I wanna share with you my Quaker. Now, I was working on some Valentine's projects. I really wanted to have a bunch of Valentine's decorations done. I'm just pretty much going to accept the fact that I am not going to be timely when it comes to working on holidays. I also realized something about myself is that I cannot be working on five to six different projects at one time. I really need to kind of stay focused and get one finished before moving on to the next one. So with that, I did finish the Valentine Quaker. So we'll take a look at that. For this one, I did buy the finishing kit. I liked having this hard copy. This is the cute design that I was working on. I have the finishing kit, which of course I did not finish yet, but I have that. And here I have, I don't know what you want to call it, if it's finished or not, but I did complete the stitching. Now, forgive me, I do not have this ironed out, but this is what my finished piece looks like. And I had messed up on it. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I did mess up. I'm, I'm obviously a horrible counter because I had messed up. I just kind of went with it. Maybe you see the mishaps, maybe you don't, but I really do love how this turned out. It was really nice to use, what was it in here? Classic Color Works. So it was all one color. I loved this material. I believe this was 14 count um, in whatever came in the kit. So I enjoyed it. And that's the, all, the other thing that I'm learning about myself is right now I really enjoy the 14 count. Some of these other fancy ones, I think I have some um, fabric off on the side here, but the smaller squares, where you have to kind of do two squares for one stitch, whatever it is, my eyes just can't do it. So I really like this 14 count right now, but this came out wonderful. So I really do hope to finish this into um, the completed project here at some point, but right now I am content with having this done. Now this particular one, this is from Primrose Cottage. They do have other things available. I'm gonna get to that in some of my new stuff that I have that I received. So they do have other ones available. They are darling and I really love them. So this is something I definitely will be continuing with. Okay, now this one I believe was from Stitching with the Housewives, or Stitching with the Real Housewives, however that is. Um, I started these, I have the boards to put these on and everything, but I did not, I don't think I finished this stitch. I honestly, I hate restarting anything, but I kind of want to redo this. Obviously, it's for Valentine's Day. I didn't make it. I I wanted to have kind of like that homey vintage look with this kind of oatmeal colored fabric, but I'm not, I'm not digging it. I didn't like my light pink hearts on here. I might go back and redo this one and the other ones, 
on maybe a white or yeah I think maybe a white I'll probably go back and do it so wasn't really digging this kind of lost the ambition for it plus it, obviously it was after it was after um, Valentine's Day and so I just kind of lost the spark for it really but I, I do like these roundabouts I think they're really neat and I have the products from them um, or to complete them but this one just didn't quite make it so I know that was kind of a work in progress that I had showed before Okay, so this one is actually the one I have been working on pretty consistently. Um, this is a, it, well, it's going to say create and it's going to be in a rainbow of colors. I've adjusted some of the colors to what I have in my stash. Uh, so let me open this up and I keep all of mine in these zipper pouch bags, which is really handy. But um, I know I've shared this one before. I think the last time I did it, it was just maybe on the green. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving this. I cannot wait to get this finished. Again, I have messed up on this more times than I care to admit, to be honest. I need to finish in here. I need to do some fixing. I have miscounted, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm rolling with it. Even if I didn't catch the mistake till later, I'm just going to roll with it because it's mine. I'm not giving it away to anybody and it's just a part of the handmade process to be honest. So this is going to say create. This is from Shannon Christine Designs. That is another company I am finding I absolutely love. She has just the coolest designs. Some of them are very cutesy. Um, I'm a part of a couple of her memberships that she has on her website but she is definitely a company I am very, very drawn to. Uh, and this is one of them. So I am making good progress on this. I cannot wait to finish this up. This is gonna have yellow, orange, and pink, I believe I have left here. So I'm excited to get that one finished up. Pretty sure this is most likely 14 count. Next, I have a couple uh, memberships or clubs that I'm a part of with a Fat Quarter Shop. One of them is, or actually two of them, is the Floss Frenzy with Weeks Dye Works. And then this one is Floss Fix with Classic Color Works. So one of the things I do like about these is I'm getting the, these floss packs to pretty much build up my collection, maybe experiment with these. So I do really like these. Um, and I, I'm, I am, I'm building up my collection. I have a little uh, zipper bag that I've been putting all of these in. So these are two, I think they're two different clubs. And these are with the Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, another club that I had signed up for with Fat Quarter Shop is uh, these Simply Signs. So it's going to be these long boards. I do like this style. I have not started any just yet, but I do really like this style. This is actually pretty... Um, I gotta be honest, this one, so this is Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, this is Valentine's Day. I even have the palette. I wouldn't have bought the palette. I haven't started this mainly because this design didn't excite me very much. I don't know if maybe changing the fabric to white would maybe excite me a little bit more, but I don't know. Something about it just didn't make me want to jump into it right away. So I'm I will end up doing it. I have the pattern. I figure if I have it, I'm, I'm going to try and use what I have unless I really despise something. But I, I really do like this. I like the design of it. This one especially I want to do. I think this is super pretty. And I like the the um, word on here too. So this is another pattern series. Another series that is in here is a Sayings of the Se Season, Blooming in Spring. This is a Fat Quarter Shop exclusive, uh, Stitching with the Housewives. So this is, I think this is maybe like a quarterly type of thing. Um, I don't even know what it, I don't even know what it is to be honest. So I wonder if this is it, um, Stepping into Spring. So that's really pretty. I like the tulips. Not sure how I feel about the black. Uh, this one, I got a bunch of finishing fabric for behind it, classic color works. There is the black fabric here, and that is black 28 count Monaco. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use it. 
it, it's for one it's black and two it's 28 count and that's going to be super hard on my eyes so i might give it a shot maybe try something small but i have a feeling this is just going to be too much for me magnifying glass or not i just i just know but I'll, I'll see maybe i'll try something small on it so this one i think is actually really cute it's just going to be uh very detailed it's going to take a while so that was really pretty it's another subscription based one a couple other subscription based ones that i have is a shelf life uh these are a couple of them this was the february one i i don't like it <laughs> i'm not gonna lie I don't, I don't like them. Um, I thought I would. I thought it was super cute. The snowman, I think, is what drew me in when I signed up. It's number four of 12. And unfortunately, I don't read fine print very well. So I don't think I can cancel. So these are kind of collecting for right now. Maybe down the road, I will get a bug and want to do them. But as of right now, mm, not really, not really my thing. Uh, the other thing that I have signed up for is the fabric what is this fabric flare monthly club this i thought would be really interesting because i'm getting something sent to me every month that i probably wouldn't have picked out myself not saying i'm exactly going to use it right away but i think it is super cute these happen to be this one's like a polka dot this one's kind of got um like a stonewashed look to it and mm -hmm. they're 14 count ada so that was another thing that really uh, intrigued me or I was happy about is because I'm sure at some point I will be able to use these and it's a count that I am comfortable with so this one I really do like I kind of like where I can build up a collection on my own and experiment with different things all right on to some brand new stuff so there's a pair apparently I'm sure you guys know if you do floss tube and you're pretty avid into cross stitch and whatnot but um there was like a nashville show it was like their big show for everyone with their patterns things like that they have something similar like that in the card making world um and so it was interesting to watch a lot of those in the instagram stories from the companies now with primrose cottage they came out with a patriotic quaker i love this i never thought i'd be so in love with uh patriotic colors as i am with their patterns i really really like it so this is their Patriotic Quaker. I got the hard copy. I had to pre-order a lot of this stuff. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is uh, Happiness is Homemade, Nashville Needlework. That's what it was. Nashville Needle Needlework Market Cookbook. And it's got just a bunch of different patterns in here from a bunch of different companies. I don't want to show you all of them because uh, it is something you have to purchase. But there's a bunch of different designs in here from different companies. So it's not just Primrose Cottage, but the one that they have in here matches this patriotic theme that they have going on. Uh, this is their, well, let's get to the patriotic since um, that's what I was kind of doing. This is another one of theirs. Uh, this is their red, white, and blue quilt. I think this is a beautiful design. And what I really like about this is I love the design so much. I can always take these designs, switch it up to my own colors and create something my own. But I do love these shades. I think that's what's intriguing me so much are these shades. So that was another one that goes with their patriotic. Um, and then here's the other one, 4th of July rules. So they do have quite a few of these types of patterns where it's, you know something rules and then it, it lists all of these and I thought this was beautiful it's a large piece that you can display in your home so I really liked that one as well who knew I was so patriotic another thing that they released this kind of came with the whole bundle that I ordered and this is snowman 2024 really cute and I believe that her dad is making a lot of these things um, that you can add them to I haven't honestly been paying attention a lot, so I'm not sure if they're available right now or not. Uh, I don't know if these are available as far as the patterns or if they're just downloadable right now. Once I'm done with my video, I'll go in, I'll look, and I'll link things up where I can. But this was super, super cute. And then you, of course, have the choice to add the year on there if you want to or not. 
And then another one of theirs that I really fell in love with was 12 monthly minis. So it's 12 different designs. Now, mind you, these are pretty small pillows, I believe. They're, they're just little guys. They're super cute, but it's got all these different kinds of seasons on here. Now, when they do theirs, uh, it's stitched on 32 count light taupe. Of course, I am not going to be doing 32 count. That's not happening. So I'm going to have to do some converting to get that to 14 count or just a smaller count that I can handle. And then here is a crazy thing. So they have, I think it's like a spring Quaker, just like the Valentine's Day one. And by gosh, I cannot find my pattern. I swore I ordered it. I cannot find it. I even have to look, I guess, if it got shipped. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I keep going in and ordering their finishing kit. So I have two finishing kits, but yet I can't find the pattern. But you can see that the theme for that one is going to be this beautiful shade of purple. So I, I really like that. I can't wait to start that one. I think that's gonna be really cute. So two finishing kits. Apparently I'm making two pillows. Uh, this finishing kit is for the 12 monthly minis. So that was this one. So this is their finishing kit. Gives you all the fabric to put on the back of the pillows and it must be the batting for them as well. I'm not really sure. I haven't finished anything yet. So got the finishing kit. I also picked up the thread that they put together for the 12 monthly minis. So they have those in a kit as well. And then I have another bag here. I have no idea what it is. What do I have here? Okay, so it looks like I have a finishing kit for the Patriotic Quaker, which that one I do have. That is this one. So this is the finishing kit for that, which is all the thread you need, the rick rack to go around it, and then your backing on there. So I have that finishing kit. Uh, Fourth of July rules. So that is that huge one so that'll go for that so that's the thread for that one and since they were recommending um, a lot of these like 32 counts what is this one recommend yeah 32 count again um, I believe I ordered a 14 I did this is 14 count Ada in that in kind of that like oatmeal color so it's a pretty big piece uh, hopefully I can get a couple projects out of that. I got a half a yard, so I have no idea, but I like to be prepared so that when I sit down to start working on something, I have everything I need. I obviously haven't kitted anything yet into bags because I'm going to kind of just wait until I'm ready, till I'm ready to do that. But I really need to find that spring Quaker pattern, either that or I'm going to have to download it. But I like hard copies in my hand. I'm working with a paper one right now, but I really enjoy a hard copy. Okay, so that kind of gets you caught up to what I have going on and what I'm finding out is going to work best for me. Like I said, I'm going to try and I think maybe pop in once a month and give you an update. Maybe I finished something or maybe I started something new. Maybe I bought something. I'm sure there's things that I've purchased since my last video that I just forgot to bring in here, but... I think this was enough. This was a pretty pretty big one for me, especially since I just don't have as much time uh, to work on it because I do uh, card making and videos as my full-time job. So I have a lot of obligations, a lot of work, and of course I have my family. So it's this is more of sit down at night, watch a little bit of TV, and just kind of unwind. And I will say that that is really helpful because there were some days in just my regular daily work where I was just burnt out. I was stressed or I was, my brain was going in five different directions. And even though I knew I should be working on those projects to get things done, I just needed to reset my brain and pulling out my cross stitch really helped me with that. So even though I messed up on my counting, it, it does really help me kind of reset, just change my train of thought and, and I start fresh the next day. And I enjoy it. The create that I'm working on right now, that sign, hopefully the next time I come in with a floss tube video, I'm hoping it is done. I probably will just put it in a picture frame because uh, I think I've mentioned in my previous floss tube videos is that 
I don't know how to work my sewing machine. Um, I have one and I think I found the foot pedal for it, but it's got to get threaded and, and all that stuff. So yeah, that's, that's going to be someday when I'm ready to finish my projects, I'll just, you know, hey mom, fix my sewing machine for me, please. So anyway, being brutally honest, you know, I know how to make a cart. I don't know how to sew. I do know how to cross stitch. Well, sort of. So anyway, thank you all for popping in and joining me for this. Hopefully I will see you again next month and maybe there's something here that caught your attention. So I will try and link what I can down below so that if you're interested, you can go check them out as well. Thanks everybody. See you soon.